I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. A hot proposition where you can lose. Since you muscled in on my bulletproof heart, what a gangland war you started. I thought that I was taking you for a ride. But boom, oh, you got me, Bonnie, right in the Clyde. So give me half your action. I'll wind up in traction or in the sea in cement shoes. Oh, baby, that's my offer. My final offer. That's an offer that you can't refuse. I'll sign a contract. That's an offer that you can't refuse. Well, Pug, a streaker ready to run in the derby today. Uh, he's ready to go, boss. All right. Let's see what he can do. Right, boss. Okay, streaker. Give the boss a sample of your speed. Go, boy. How come he ain't running? He is running. Maybe you ought to pasteurize him, Chief. Yeah. Hey. Get a load of that head burner that belongs to my neighbor, Dutch Schnauzer. Now, that's what I call a real hunk of equanimity. I hide that. Tell you what. I'll trade my horse, Slicker, for your horse, Streaker. For an old pal like you, Dutch, I'll do it. By the way, before you can race lightning, you has got to catch him first. Gee, how are we gonna catch him, boss? Simple. We'll use a line yet and lasso him like they do in the cowboy movies. Hey, how about this, fellas? I'm making like one of them Wild West radio. He's got him, boss. Okay, Louie, hit the brakes. <laughs> I'm going to seek to a day to get the best care that Joe's garage can provide. Hey, it's a pretty good fit, huh, boss? I'd say it's more like a convulsion. Come on, Pug, let's go. Now remember, when you get close enough to lightning, grab him. Okay, boss. Do you see him anywhere, Louie? No, I don't see nothing. Stop here, Louie. You know, Louie, horses are just unspoiled children of Mother Natural. So we gotta look natural. Start eating grass. Yeah. You got the end with the mouth. Not a chance. Horses are smarter than you think. Hey, I just clocked you guys. It was terrific. Maybe I should enter you guys in the derby instead of the plug. I don't get it, boss. How can you catch a horse with a mirror? I figure we're dealing with an egocentrifical nag. This will stop him for sure. Hey, that's real good physiology. Yeah, you're a real genius, boss. Come on, let's get out of sight before he spots us. Oh, heck, he went right by. He'll be back. Oh, boy, here he comes. Go get him, Pug. He's got him. Now we'll show him who's boss, huh, boss? But, boss, I ain't no jockey. I get seasick on a horse. Besides, I don't think he likes me. Open the gate, Pug. He's after me, boss. What'll I do? Head for the racetrack. It's almost post time. 
a wonderful day out here at the track. The horses are lined up at the starting gate. Put another 50 grand on lightning to win. Your hard streaker doesn't have a chance. We don't just see about that. And it's lightning leading the back by 20 lengths. It looks like his race, folks. Get going and fast, or you're going to the glue factory. Wait a minute. Here comes Streaker. And wow, we look at him go. They're in the stretch, and they're coming to the finish line, and it's lightning by a nose. Speaker comes in second. Hold everything. The judges have just disqualified lightning for racing without a jockey. Streaker is the winner. It's official. <laughs> Better luck next time, sucker. I ain't never put out no contract on no horse before, but I'm doing it now. After him. And don't spare the horses. <laughs> That's a good one, boy. Shut up. <laughs>